y'all. Welcome to another Shadowlands Dungeon Guide. This time we'll be focusing on Spires of Ascension. And as with my other videos, I do like to do all this in chronological order. That way if you're watching this during a run, you can go ahead and pause and play as needed. So this will be the entrance right here. And as of beta, there is no summoning stone outside. So you will want to go ahead and run to this place. Now the first boss that you're going to encounter will be Kintara and her pet Blue. You want to take the boss away from everyone else so that when she hits 100 energy, the cleave won't be hitting anyone. She's also going to be throwing a spear out that will land and do AoE damage everywhere around it. So you want to get away from that. And then her pet Blue over here is just going to do these waves that you need to avoid throughout the fight. So make sure you're not standing in the pathway of them and go ahead and just maneuver yourself throughout. And then you're going to run into three mobs. The Forsaken Annihilators, you want to avoid the Swirlies on the ground because they're going to do a lot of damage to you. And then after these mobs, you're going to run into the Aether Divers and they just do an AoE in a straight path. So just avoid standing on them and try and get them silenced if you can. After this, you're going to run into the Squad Leader and these are going to have two different mechanics. One where they land and do a puddle, and then a frontal cleave as well. So make sure you're facing these away from the party. And then we're going to move on to the second boss, Ventanax. And he's going to be doing a dark stride onto a player one at a time that's going to leave a pretty nasty dot on them. So be ready to heal them if you're the healer. It's also going to leave a shadow whirl on the ground. And this is going to start emitting dark bolts out throughout the entire arena, randomly in different directions. So you want to make sure that you're avoiding those as much as possible. The tank should be taking him away, so no one's getting blinding flash on them. And then he's going to be doing a recharge at one point. And when he's doing that, all the Shadow Worlds will be emitting more bolts, so just avoid him. Now I did want to add this little skip in here. I'm sure if you've been watching any Mythic Plus at some point, you've already kind of seen this, but... Might as well throw this in there for anyone who's new to the dungeon. You can go ahead and skip some of these packs right here just to get done with the dungeon a little bit quicker. Then we're going to move on to our third boss, or Rifreon. Just try and stand 5 to 10 yards apart from your allies. That way you're not taking additional damage at any time in this fight. He's going to drop anima fields on top of you. So just move out of those as soon as those are there. And at some point he's going to go ahead and just recall these as well. So you're going to want to actually run into these and keep them from hitting him. Or else you're going to start taking some damage from overcharge. So just make sure that you're away from your teammates. It's a pretty easy fight. So go ahead and coast right through this one. I did want to go ahead and add this in there. We made the mistake of going up in a Mythic Plus short on percentage. And once you try and go back down after you fight the last boss, it gives you like a slow fall effect. Which ends up taking a almost two minutes to land back on the ground unless you're druid like myself so make sure you're getting that percent right and then we're going to move on to the last trash before the last boss now this is the last one of the mobs and it has all three effects combined so he's going to jump into a puddle with an aoe frontal cleave on it as well as he's going to be throwing the spears out and from that spear it's going to have pulsing damage outwards so make sure you're not in it and then we're going to move on to the last boss Devos. And what we're going to want to do is throughout the encounter, make sure you're standing in these bubbles that are on the ground, or else Abyssal Detonation is just going to one hit you. And throughout the fight, players are also going to get lost confidence on them. Just make sure you run that out when it expires or dispel it outside of the circle everyone's in. And then you're going to have a second phase. And in this second phase, it's very important to make sure that you're picking up these electrical balls as fast as possible and bringing them to the middle so that you can go ahead and throw the spear at the boss and bring her back down. And then at that point, you just basically rinse and repeat this over and over again. And it's nice and easy to get through. I hope you've all enjoyed this guide. Please make sure you follow and subscribe to the channel. That way I can continue making more guides and get feedback towards what y'all want in the future.